What is up everybody? How's it going? Travis here and we're continuing this series focus on the fragrance and I will say I've been kind of learning some stuff as I've been filming these videos and I'm realizing that the fragrances that look really cool in these are the ones with the clear bottles you know so that's just little things that I've been learning as I've been doing these but if you're just tuning in I'm trying a new series because I want, I had an idea for some different sort of content that I wanted to do. Um, as we know, these fragrances, they truly are works of art, okay? From the ingredients that go into them to the bottle designs, you know? And there are some really great perfumers that work on these, obviously. And so it's really great to look at them and talk about them. And, um, you know, hopefully we don't spend too much money, right? on these fragrances, you know, gotta smell them all. It's like, uh, it's like Pokemon or something like that, you know? But anyways, I wanted to talk about this fragrance today, Versace the Dreamer, and this one's kind of a special fragrance to me because I actually received this as a gift, okay? Um, from one of my, you know, colleagues, a guy I really admire and appreciate, his name's Doomle, and Doomle, if you're watching this video, Man, I really appreciate you. You're awesome, and I'm just so grateful that I get to do life with you. And thank you for um, you know this fragrance that you gave me. I had heard people talk about this fragrance online. Jeremy Fragrance was the first person that I heard talk about this Versace the Dreamer. Okay, and I remember when he talked about it, I didn't really, I didn't really grasp what was special about this fragrance. You know, when you look at the note breakdown, it's very simple. I'll read it off for you now. Top notes, we have Juniper, Tarragon, Artemisia. Middle notes, we have Iris, Lily, and Flax. And then, and then in the base, we have Tobacco, Blossom, and Amber. And, you know, none of those ingredients really jumped out to me, you know, so... I didn't really, I was kind of sleeping on this fragrance, honestly, and it took a couple lists, you know, watching and hearing people talk about it to really, like, see it in the right light, and when I received this fragrance as a gift, I was pumped because I was like, oh my gosh, I, you know, I've been wanting to get my nose on this and kind of hear what people were talking about, and I I want to say that I was very surprised and this fragrance has a bit of an alluring quality to it. You know, so I have some fragrances that have that tobacco note in there, but this is a little bit different. And I've heard people talk about it's like a pipe tobacco sort of thing. You know, it's not like straight up like tobacco herbaceous like dark it's like you're smelling the smoke from the tobacco and I definitely get the juniper and the lily in there too what surprised me about it is it lasted very long and when I sprayed it to like test it it was strong I was like oh my gosh so <laughs> I, I got this fragrance like in the middle of summer which you know, for my climate, being Houston, Texas, it's not like ideal. You know, if I had to pick a season for this fragrance, I would probably say cooler. You know, just cooler. Whether that's like, you know, a cooler day in the evening or like in the fall or something like that. I really think this fragrance lends itself to not like the super humid hot. You know, if you're gonna do that sort of vibe, I would really push you towards another offering from Versace, like Versace Mano Fresh. That one is like a banger in high heat, you know, or um, Versace Eros, you know, that one's a little more evergreen. You could wear that year round, but I think this one really is special. And, you know, I've compared it to some of my other fragrances. I really think the house of Versace is so competitive when it comes to their offerings. They really give you a lot of value in their fragrances. And I was showing a friend my collection and I just remember like I smelled every single one of my fragrances 
And this one stood out from the pack. And I remember thinking, wow, like as my my nose is getting fatigued, when I got to this one, it was just very refreshing. And I could tell it was strong. And I was like, man, I really like this fragrance. You know, so what type of person can I see wearing this fragrance? I mean, you'd probably have like one layer on, you know, at the very least, like a light sweater, a light jacket or something. It's cool outside. It will give you a very alluring sort of vibe like, whoa, like who's this? You know, the pipe tobacco, the lily. Um, I think it comes off like masculine but just a little touch of not femininity, but like sophistication. That's probably a better word. You know, I mean, I haven't smelled Dior Homme original, you know, so um, I'm not like a, I'm not super proficient in the note of Iris, but I think that this one, um, it comes off sophisticated, not uber masculine, but I would still say this is a masculine leaning fragrance. So um, definitely for the guys, if a girl was wearing this, you know, like it would throw me off. I'm just being honest with you. If if a girl was wearing this, it'd throw me off. This is is definitely a men's sort of fragrance. Um, Talking about the iris in here, like I mentioned, I'm no iris expert, but it does have like a clean, floral sort of vibe in the mid and just from spraying this on clothes and different things I mean I think you can get you know I I can't remember what I've heard different people say on YouTube but I mean on clothes I feel like this lingers pretty well for me I sprayed it on my sweater and I was like man I, I was really smelling it like the next day you know so your mileage may vary depending on if you spray it on clothes your skin chemistry but I had no problem with longevity and projection the times that i've wore this fragrance and i'm really excited to wear it um going into the fall you know this is this is one i'll i'll probably be reaching for on those cooler days when they do come so thank you guys for listening to this video i really appreciate you guys tuning in and um we love fragrances right so if you enjoy this content let me know Um, this could turn into a podcast. I I literally have no idea if enough people liked it, then maybe we could do something like that. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.